Hi everyone, welcome to Nursing with CG. In this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of documentation. As a nurse, um, it is very important to know the difference between electronic health record and electronic medical record in order to work in the United States. So EMR, that is electronic medical record. That, that means every incident of admissions, every time when the patient comes, we need to have um, special documentation. So if a patient came with um, infection, if the patient is already have uh, end stage renal failure, definitely this patient may be having multiple hospital admissions. So at this point, patient came with an infection. So that is considered as electronic medical record. So all the information on during this admission is coming under electronic medical record. What is the purpose of documentation? So documentation actually uh, helps to get the reimbursement uh, also will help to maintain the auditing monitoring about the details of the patient and also help for education purposes also research workers you know research people they can also get the details of patients information from the medical record and also it is best communication tool in order to communicate between the um, um, healthcare providers so DGR, they are the one helping to get the proper reimbursement for the patient and based on their documentation, uh, the patient's diagnosis, is it primary or secondary medical diagnosis? Based on the code they put, um, they get the reimbursement, the patients get the reimbursement. So that is the way um, the, the insurance company get the um, uh, details of the patient's data and what's going on with the patient and um, always documentation should be timely and it should be accurate documentation always the nurses are responsible for documenting patients um, data on a timely manner and uh, it's it's uh, under the joint commission standards uh, every nurse working in the united states needs to know the joint commission standards and also they are supposed to follow the uh, hospital protocol and policies so uh, every time when nurses are following any uh, nursing care always we follow the nursing um, a process like a, a, a admission assessment uh, diagnosis planning implementation and evaluation so always we follow the, all those steps um, and also uh, every nursing task we document every nursing task means um, we document folly care, peri care, bed bath, um, also teaching part if a patient comes with a diabetes, a stroke, hypertension, uh, congestive heart failure, um, discharge instructions. Every single patient discharged, for example, congestive heart failure, renal failure, uh, patients come with any type of postural patients. So every patient has different type of like stroke patients. Everyone has different um, form of discharge plan because of uh, their disease condition they need to have proper follow-up diet restrictions activity restrictions and follow-up care medications all these have to have in a proper uh, plan and it has to be documented especially the education part is very important uh, for example if a congestive heart failure discharge home and the patient comes back within short period of time that indicates that um, nurse did not do the, her job and it can be a liability for the hospital so in that case Mm, you know it's it's very bad impression on the nurse so that's why we have to be very careful when you discharge all the documents should be in the um, electronic health record or emr so every hospital has specific requirements as per joint commission all the documents like ehr has some specific areas uh, just like or emr has specific um, attributes components and all these are based on the joint commission standards so um, anytime any nurse document anything in the computer it should be factual it should be accurate it should be complete and current uh, and it should be organized so anytime for example if you take vital signs you document the vital signs the time you took the vital signs and even though you are documenting it's it's after eight you can put change the time into eight o'clock so that's the way you have to strictly follow the time and it should accurate you cannot just put any vague uh, documentation seems like or uh, appears to be you, you cannot use any of those terms and it should be complete always you should have a doc complete documentation and the, the current time you enter documentation the patient chart is vital 
and uh, um, clear and concise or organized manner. So anytime, um, you know, especially vital signs, pain assessment, administration medication, uh, diagnostics test, um, change of patient status, um, admission, transfer, discharge, treatment, sudden change of patients, all these things needs to be documented on a timely manner. That's a Joint Commission standard. Now, um, patients, um, you know, uh, patients, As a nurse, a nurse should know the abbreviations and clinical uh, terms, terminologies in order to function in the United States. So uh, especially uh, nurses need to have proper understanding of terminologies in order to efficiently communicate between the um, healthcare team members. So now about the confidentiality of the health records. Confidentiality, um, any, especially the patient's records are very confidential and any nurse um, who is not taking care of that particular patient cannot go and uh, look into that record. That is against patients' um, uh, HIPAA violation. We call it as HIPAA violation, H-I-P-A-A. -A. So what is HIPAA? HIPAA uh, violation or HIPAA, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, that is HIPAA, H-I-P-A-A, -A, that was launched in 1996 and the first federal leg legislation providing protection for patients record. So if any uh, nurse violates this, it, this can be a uh, big time a disciplinary action, nurse can even lose the job. So that is a HIPAA violation. Uh, any patient's record has to be confidential and if anyone is sharing any information about the patient details to any colleagues or family members without the permission of the patient, um, that can be a problem. So anytime, confidentiality the nurse cannot discuss any patient's information to any other any other person who is not involved in the patient care uh, sometimes you know patients um, family members uh, or friends they may call through the telephone and they ask about oh, what is the status of the she's my close friend and also you cannot do that you can tell them i'm sorry this is against the hospital policy i cannot give you any information through the, the phone and you cannot discuss anything in the elevator, you cannot discuss anything in the cafeteria when you uh, discuss or when you have lunch or having get together with any employee in the hospital. You cannot discuss anything, uh, patient's details to anybody uh, who is not involved in the patient care. That is a big time problem in United States. So no one can share any personal information or any patient data to anybody which is not involved in the patient care. But at the same time, you can uh, talk to the, or interact with the uh, disciplinary, interdisciplinary team who are in, involved in the patient care. So that's the only way we can communicate with each other and the documentation will help to communicate. Admission in the United States, every patient chart includes admission sheet, physician's orders, progress notes, history and physical examination data, nurses admission information, care plan, nursing notes, graphics, laboratory and x-ray reports so these are part of the patient chart so these are the joint commission standards and all the hospitals are supposed to follow these guidelines in order to uh, get the accreditation in united states if any violation on this they can even lose the accreditation of the hospital so uh, there was a form of narrative um, documentation previously that was traditional form but now they changed into electronic uh, health record system they have very limited space and uh, you know uh, narrative form always you know it needs more space and that's big limitation and since the electronic health record system existing now which uh, provides a lot of ample opportunity to document very fastly so we can save time and also um, but there is some limitation for that too because of limited space we cannot uh, include all the details of the assessment uh, charting you know normally we use the the acronym SOAP S-O-A-A-P S-O-A-P um, that is uh, normally subjective data objective data assessment and plan of care so that is a normal plan of um, care um, documentation style we use in CBE charting by exception what does that mean charting by exception that means anytime any patient documentation when you document uh, if everything is within normal limit we just put like WNL within normal normal limit if any exception if a patient uh, comes with a motor vehicle accident patient has neurological impairment um, in that case we are going to put that uh, patients have disorientation or altered mental status in that case you need to have more explanation about it 
versus a patient comes with a congestive heart failure he's awake alert oriented times three so in that case you can put um with a normal image so always uh, remember when you chart uh, as soon as and as, as often possible and for unit charting schedule only um, use uh, your name you cannot document for anyone never chart for someone use direct quotes when appropriate um, you know uh, describe what you see the factual components um, what you see what you hear what you feel what you smell um, you know avoid judgmental terms and placing blame um, also sign entry with full legal name and title uh, write only what you observe not opinions and the patient leaves the unit chart the time uh, the patient left the unit um, uh, all orders um, care as given or explain deviation if you did not do anything you need to have a clarification for that not patient response to treatment and response to analgesics especially you need to find come back and check on your patient anytime patient uh, is on any type of uh, analgesics or any type of um, narcotics and all you have to <coughs> go back and check on your patient um, you know if any times you know when you write the documentation if you have any error in the documentation you have to just cross with a single line and you put your initial that is most important uh, you cannot just use any type of um, erasers or any white writing or anything you cannot use that so that is very important if any late entry follow the hospital policy and protocol you have to put as late entry and time and date um, so um, always when you receive a phone call from the doctor if you uh, put a um, you know if in, in case if any time in you um, left a call to any physician you can document call left time uh, and date uh, how many times the first call second call third call so that's a big time documentation if a doctor did not uh, call back so otherwise you'll be blamed so as a nurse it's always you need to uh, you know protect our license so always document anytime you do anything um, in the patient care one thing you need to remember uh, the communication always in the united states we use a format of communication that is called s bar uh, s is situation b means b background a is assessment and r is recommendation so anytime when you communicate between nurses between um doctor you know doctor to nurse or anyone you are communicating about your patient you definitely need to follow the s bar communication uh, format so that's the standard format we use in uh, united states whenever you give a report to anyone so that um, reduces um, errors and we follow uh, you know uniform standard of giving report so you don't miss anything and some hospitals they use cardex that is a form of uh, communication that's just like a normal format a common format so that everyone is going to be on the same page though no one going to miss anything about the patient details so that's the uh, way we are giving report in the hospitals and another important uh, area you need to remember about incident report many people have no still have a lot of confusion about the incident report incident report is not part of uh, electronic health record or emr it's a separate document if any patient fell in the floor if any patient uh, self extubated patient pulled the ng tube or patient um, anything like a, a wrong site of surgery wrong leg wrong wrong um, patient or a medication error uh, patient um, wrong specimen sent to a wrong patient wrong blood transfusion so all these are coming under incident report so incident report we have to put in a separate form um, in the computer it's not a part of the patient's record but it is going to the quality team and the quality team team will analyze the root cause analysis of the incident and they make a better recommendation on that that is always uh, better for preventing further occurrence of this type of incidents in the hospital so that is a, a big uh, responsibility of the nurse who is involved in the uh, incident has to report it in the proper way uh, with the patient where it happened what happened when happened uh, is anyone involved any witness there did you notify the doctor did you notify the family member what are your recommendations what are the other uh, post incident um, actions done for saving the patient so all these informations will go to a separate document that is called incident report and uh, that is not part of the electronic health record system of the patient but always uh, a patient needs to know about it patient should be aware about it. the nurse supposed to talk to talk to the patient and the physician who all are involved in the patient care so that is very important and always um, think about 
uh, it's a patient safety um, and also it's a matter of um, legality and we can uh, owners can prevent further occurrence by implementing new strategies to uh, avoid or limit uh, this type of incidents in the in the clinical field or clinical settings so now uh, regarding the informatics so what is the application of informatics in united states so there are so many different options uh, informatics applications so nurses who are graduated with informatics specialty master's degree they get uh, information informatics department they can apply and they can get a, a job that is mostly related to documentation um, you know finding out the strategies new inter in inventions of uh, documentation strategies IT people they initially started uh, they have uh, they make the the structure the skeleton but the informatics they can put a lot of uh, inputs from their side to modify the documentation and for user friendly for nurses so especially there are some alerts if a patient has sepsis you know once you document the heart rate is uh, above 90 uh, temperature 100.4 uh, above 100.4 hospital rate is about 20 um, when you document all these details automatically there will be alert there will be pop-up uh, alert to um, show that the patient is qualifying for sepsis screening so the team can be active immediately so there are so many alert system uh, there in the computer and these are the um, part of informatics and advancement in technology so that we don't miss any type of like a stroke uh, symptoms or stroke and every uh, case is every hospitals they have their their own policies and protocols to how to take care of these patients with sepsis uh, stroke chf um, all these type of uh, myocardial infections all these special cases they have specific protocols and order, once the patient comes with all the symptoms they can initiate those protocols and their care sets they are pre-recorded pre-organized also it's more easy that can prevent a further deterioration of the case and everyone can get the alert and notification when a nurse initiate the care set that is a very advanced uh, technological advancement in the united states so every patient gets the appropriate treatment within the short period of time and this is a universal standard uh, protocol for united states and based on joint commission standards every single hospital follow same type of um, protocols and procedures uh, but maybe slight variation but basically this is what we follow in our hospitals in order to give the best uh, patient care to all patients uh, no matter what patient is homeless or patient has no insurance doesn't matter that is a big advantage in uh, medical field in the united states everyone gets the right everyone has the right to get the better treatment and no matter what who is where is from everyone gets the best uh, patient care so uh, in NCLEX, a lot of questions will come from HIPAA, mainly HIPAA, incident, rec incident report, EMR, EHR, um, all those things. So I hope you all got a basic idea about all these things. I hope you all enjoyed. We will meet with another topic in the next video. If you did not subscribe this uh, channel, please subscribe. Uh, you can get more information about nursing in the United States. Thank you.